there's an A&W here. So if there's going to be an A&W, a Burger King, a KFC, something, some American fast food chain, I'm probably going to try it. I've never, I haven't even had an A&W in years and years and years. I thought I'd just come here and I'd get a root beer because that's kind of a novelty. But then, as I showed up, I decided I should get some lunch. So what did I get? Let's take a look. So number one, here's my root beer. The NW root beer. Nice cold glass, it tastes like the NW root beer. I got a mozzarella Coney burger, I mean Coney hot dog, and I got the beef style. So it's a Coney dog, um, that'd be a chili, there's mozzarella cheese, hot dog, and uh, some sort of dill or something like that on it. Um, I got some french fries, which are just standard, I went with just standard french fries. Snack it out all day long. And the reason I decided, limited edition grilled chicken burger. Now this isn't just any old grilled chicken burger, no, no, no. That, there's no point to even make a make a video for a regular grilled chicken burger. You gotta, you gotta, I gotta have something special. So, I got the limited edition blueberry grilled chicken burger. Now this has lettuce, tomato, mayonnaise, cheese, but it has a blueberry sauce. There's the little chicken patty and a blueberry sauce for this burger. Now, I have no idea how that's going to taste, but we're definitely going to find out. All right, so, all right, hello again. I had to adjust, make some adjustments. There we go. So first off, let's try the fries. They are very mediocre fries. Try with some ketchup. It's a chili ketchup. French fry, chili ketchup. It's the uh, sweet chili ketchup. Yeah, they're mediocre, like really, I'd give it like a five out of 10. They're just totally run the bill fries. Now, I know you want me to do the blueberry burger, but it's coming. So next up, the mozzarella hot dog, the mozzarella coney dog. Like I said, a coney dog has, uh, has chili on it. And I see there is chili at the bottom of this. Let's give this a try. Mm. Mm. I got a beef hot dog. Hopefully you can see the beef is the beef hot dog is pretty good. Like it actually tastes like a good quality hot dog. Um, the chili, it's a meat chili, not a meat, not a meat, meat and bean, but it's pretty good. Hmm. I didn't really get any, any cheese, so I'll try one more with some cheese on it. Hmm. 
not bad. Honestly, that's pretty good. Um, I don't think it needs the cheese, personally. The chili and the hot dog itself are pretty good. So, uh, yeah, it doesn't really need it, but yeah, it's, it's not bad. I give it like a, I give it like an eight out of ten. It's really not bad. All right, I'm gonna have to stop the camera real quick. I don't have any napkins, and they didn't have any napkins, but there's a washroom right there, so I'm gonna go wash my hands and then get back. To a blueberry burger. All right, welcome back. Which, welcome back for me, you, I'm just right, right here. Time for the coup de gras. The blueberry grilled chicken burger from A and W. All right, this is DIY travels with Craig. The bun is not warm, which is a little bummer. Let's see how it goes. Blueberry chicken burger. A and W. Let's give it a go. blueberries in the sauce. There's the chicken. That is so weird. All right. Okay. So the blueberry chicken sandwich from A and W. It's weird. There is a strong after you finish your bite. There is a strong blueberry flavor aftertaste after eating a chicken sandwich. So it just tastes like a normal chicken sandwich. But then there's this weird blueberry sauce on it. So you got the sweet blueberry. It's really funny. Like I, I finished the chicken sandwich, and then the taste just reminds me of eating blueberry pancakes as soon as I'm done eating the chicken sandwich. The chicken's okay. It's not really that juicy or anything. I mean, it looks a little dry. Um, the cheese is there. Uh, I don't even really notice the cheese much. I do taste some tomato. I taste some mayonnaise and the little crunch from the lettuce. And then there's all, and then every time there's just this sweetness that's just permeating through it. You know, you, when you order a chicken sandwich, generally I'm assuming you want a savory chicken sandwich. So you got that savory happening, okay. And then, uh, but then that weird sweetness that just follows through. Um, not for me. It, it's just weird, like, it's weird to eat a chicken sandwich and then the memories, the taste memories of the chicken sandwich are blueberry pancakes. Weird. That's a no-go for me. Sorry, blueberry chicken sandwich. I'm gonna eat it because I paid for it. Um, let's see, this meal, uh, I'm in, like I said, I'm in uh, Malacca, uh, Malaysia. This is an awesome little town. <coughs> Excuse me. It's an awesome little town in the south of Malaysia. It's really, really cool. About three hours south of Kuala Lumpur. 
So my mozzarella beef hot dog, which I liked, that was good. Um, the french fries and my root beer cost uh, 18.90 um, um, Malaysian, shoot, I don't know. It's not rupees, it's not dollars. Um, ring it, ring nuts, ring it, ring it, I think. So 18.90 ring it. Uh, I got the blueberry chicken sandwich a la carte, which is 13.90 ring it. Uh, that brought my total to $32, 32.80 ringgits, and that equals out to, um, it's like 4.26 per dollar, so it came out to around $8, yeah, like $8 for this whole meal, hot dog, sandwich, fries, and a drink, so not too bad. Um, I definitely could have eaten a lot better. My lunch was much better, or my breakfast was way better than this. Um, and it was way, way, way cheaper. Like, like, way cheaper. <laughs> but anyway, that's all for me today. Catch me out on little videos, um, different travels, different foods. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Okay, so out of a 10 rating, I'm giving this a three. Because um, even if it didn't have the blueberry sauce, the chicken sandwich is very just plain. There's nothing special, it would, it would be like a five. But now I actually with the blueberry sauce, because it's just a little bit too odd. Down there. But I do like the hot dog though. All right, have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.